Okay, folks, this is Beano Black, and basically give you a little bit of update. A lot of people get lost and forget about the Super Giants, and a lot of people that watch the videos a lot, and anybody new in watching the videos. And it'd be nice if you dropped a, you know, email, comment, or something like that, if you get a chance, if you're new in. Uh, you don't have to be real shy. This stuff's on the Internet. It's out there. Uh, it's truth, factual. You can go to my Super Giants main sequence. I will try to update that when we have problems at two. This tube seems to be still working somewhat decent. Let's blow this map up, which basically, you got to remember when you're looking at this, you don't get to know high, low, and there's massive distances between some of these, but we are at a pretty closeness with, the sun is there, folks, okay? This is the S, U, and N, okay? We've got the sun in there, okay? And I'll take you to comparison. Pretty much these are pretty much close to the same size, except for Rigel is huge, okay? It's like Pataglis, and there's all kinds of them in there that are that are really humongous that are in there. And basically, there's your comparison, okay? Rigel Cantaris A, Rigel Cantaris B, and there's the sun. Okay, and it's like I say, Earth is just a, would be Earth is almost like any one of these compared to Rigel, compared to the sun, okay? So to Rigel Cantaris A, B, or the sun. Now let me see, you basically, if you look with the welding goggles yesterday or the next time you get a view of the sun, I had a view last night when it was going down that you could see either one of these behind. That's why I'm basically going in here and showing you this because basically you could see, which would more than likely be Rigel Cantaris A behind either both the sun and Rigel Cantaris B. Okay, Rigel Cantaris A, you could see up high behind, or another one of them, because basically there's a lot more suns in the Supergiant's main sequence here that are directly in line, like a snake, behind Rigel Cantaris A, the sun, because the sun's right there, folks, okay, the sun is in there, that's basically where that S is there, because I brought all these up at the same time, and we'll come up to the data, and you'll know that I've got basically that together up here because there you go right with Cantaris A, B, and I've got Earth and the Sun, okay? All put into here, okay? So you get to know that the idea that the Sun is in that picture that you're seeing that I've got blown up at 400%, we'll scoot back down, and the Sun is in there, okay? The Sun is in there. Very close to Rigel Cantaris B right now, it looks like, and also close to A, but a pretty good damn good distance between A and the Sun and Rigel Cantaris B. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I got you for a shot. And pretty much what I'm going to show you is from the 25th. Okay, 325. So let's go take a look. And here you go. Basically, uh, it's not a shot of it's slipping or anything folks basically this shot is not a mistake basically what they're doing is they're blocking the sun and they're bleeding the truth they're basically not going to get fired because there's only so many people that can keep an eye on the sun and the super giants for you and the truth is going to bleed one way or the other because they have to keep big power and control in the idea of what the hell is going on up there and at the same time they can't get control of what they because they can't pull this stuff down off the media and let us quit seeing what's going on at the sun or the world will freak out. And then whoever orders that is a shit instigator and is a, somebody that does not deserve to be in power. Okay? Because that increases fear and this stuff is hell a long ways out. It's just what we know of the sun is and there's way more than one sun. So if you take a welding goggles, if you can get a clear shot of the sun setting, uh, you've ar I've already pro showed you plenty enough video of the super giants coming up and then the sun. Okay, because the super giants are huge. Okay, they put off a huge amount of sunlight. So here's a good peeky poo at what the hell is going on with what is out there. Because more than likely we have, I believe that is Rigel Cantaris A. More than likely, right behind the sun, and the sun is this big here, and that's how far they are away. But the idea that more than likely also that Rigel Cantaris A is somewhere in front of the sun. Let me see if I got that wrong. And yes, I got it wrong, folks, because basically Raga Cantaris B is out front. And A is behind the sun. And as you can see, it's really tight there, but the sun is right there. S-U-N. The sun is there, okay? The sun is overprinted over Cantaris A. So basically that when people go in and look, and I'm kind of a little pissy-pooed about that because you'd think that they could have put it up over here, that the sun is here. They really don't want you to know that there's more than one sun, ladies and gentlemen, okay? 
but we do like Wolfie. Okay, we love Wolfram. Okay, love Wolfram. Okay, and even if I'm a little bit off on the date on this picture, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's 2012, and as you see, it gets whited out by the sun down there in the corner on the shot. But you can see right next to that, which I don't really advertise for them. I just use it because it seems to work pretty good for loading videos. So 2012 is there, as you can't miss that. And then the idea that that is a recent shot. And we know that that more than likely is the stack of the Super Giants like I just showed you. And the sun, you watch all my videos today. Uh, and basically, let me go show you them. Now, if anybody's new to Tube or hasn't been to Tube for a long time, then they have this new format, and it's right here on this black toolbar that they got, okay? You'll get to my feature videos there. When you hit that, I'm not going to stay there long enough, and you go back. And basically, you got my pirate site there, okay? And I hit feed. Now we're at feed. My pirate site's still there. And then you know, on the videos, what will we see when we have videos? I don't know if my pirate site will still be there, but you go to those first two, feed and feature, and you'll be able to get my pirate site. I haven't done anything to the pirate site for quite a while. I'll try to maybe later this week or next week get on there and do something. But uh, right now, basically, we're over here. And basically, you got this video I put up today. And I've got a couple loading. I'm not going to sign in right now. But I've got a couple uh, loading, too. There's uh, basically uh, Vort, Beano Black. And then uh, you'll also have... Uh, uh, I don't know what we'll put on the other one. Uh, uh, we will basically put won't on there, I guess. We'll just put W-O-N-T. That's how I used to come up with this stuff. Just throw it out there. Won't. Won't. W-O-N-T. The major FCC networks will not show you this stuff, ladies and gentlemen. They talk a little bit sometimes at night. And then... They give a little sad look that daddy, we really can't tell you the whole truth because the boss won't let us. Because the boss hasn't decided whether he likes you or not because the boss has got a heap of money. And he's got what you got, Bino. So, uh, we'll talk. Maybe not. So anyway, you got to watch all the videos today. So it's like when you've seen that, how I showed you to go to videos uh, by the end of the day, you want to watch all the videos that I have up today because there's some awesome crap going on up in space. It's crowded, and like I say, repeat, they ask the astronauts up there on the space station, what do you see out of the other windows? And basically, they are like, mm, that's a hot topic. I ain't going to talk about that. They didn't say that, but your facial expressions, you can read them. And if anybody's a cop, they can really read them. And people, human beings, could read hu human beings also. It's just our natural language. We can, a monkey sitting in the tree or whatever. I mean, we're human. We're mammals. we got fur on us. And the simple thing is, you look at somebody... We know when someone's slinging shit, and we know when someone's telling the truth, and we know when someone's slinging the shit, okay? And we got some pretty good used car salesmen up there at the D.C., okay? So, uh, clean house one of these days, ladies and gentlemen, because the idea that they got to get voted out, it's better off to get new in there all the time because then the big money's always got to keep on looking for something that's clean enough to be in office, and that stuff that looks that's there, it ain't look, it don't look clean enough to be in office. Most all that stuff, okay? Ain't even got papers, okay? So I mean, I got dogs got better papers. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I mean, how much truth do people want to get? You know? So anyway, oh yeah, and then she can sit there and say, he don't have dogs anymore. He don't own that dog. So anyway, love spreads nice and thick everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Truth and data, truth all the time. Beano Black, twenty four seven. And also more of the stacking here. We caught this today too. I had and I got this in my video too. And you got the link up there. You can go look at the video and watch it if you want. Okay. I don't know if that'll highlight it more or not. You can go check that out. So I'll see what else we can come up for fresh today. And I'm gonna make a little comment too that the idea that we go up here and basically you look at history and just because I look at something, because somebody sends me a link doesn't really mean that that's something I went looking for in the first place, ladies and gentlemen. So don't, you know, and I would say that is pretty much fair for just about anybody on the flipping internet because I went searching my videos to see who's uh, like just straight out on the internet and all I'm going to say is they have the certain writing from overseas that basically is very hard for, yeah, any, even somebody that speaks the language, it's a very hard language because it's written down if anybody makes a mistake can be really misrepresented 
and that's what Kerasoft or somebody has decided to do because the idea that I really don't think the people in that country are even, but maybe they don't do look, and maybe they are posting my videos up or something to see what's actually going on. So anyway, if anything, that's like a peace leaf, I guess, or something like that to certain countries because the idea that they're seeing what's up in space <coughs> from a kind of a mid Midwestern hick kind of uh, shade tree mechanic asshole electrician look and stuff like that. So anyway, these videos are up. And basically, so when you look at people's view histories of what's on the internet, uh, that's basically like putting child porn into somebody's, you know, because basically some uh, rich power, money control, private dick or this like that, they could throw anything into anybody's computer at any time. You can backdoor a computer. So people have to spend tons of money on lawyers to clear this up and that up and people do crap and power money and control will always try to pull their crap that they can throw at somebody because the idea that they have to hush you up some way because they don't want the truth out there about what's going on in the world uh... they lose control uh... boob tubes are real cheap uh... you gotta pay a lot of money for cable and and a sat any way you want to get your news these days i would say basically newspapers and basically, I mean, it's all recycled paper. You're not killing trees. Every once in a while, they'll knock some new trees down. But they always plant. There's uh, a big company where you can go have breakfast. And I'm not trying to give any advertisers for any companies. But the idea that they're pushing to put three, what, a million trees? I'd say put, plant three billion trees. Send three million trees up to Titan or some other planet that possibly can exist and have oxygen contained in its atmosphere. Because the idea that... Uh, the world's too small for all the crap that's down here on Earth. Let's put it that way, because there's too many liars and not enough truth tellers and actual factual data and truth. Because uh, all this stuff is going on out in space, and basically, so go check this out. This is pretty cool. You get to look up at, uh, and you can see electrical aura action if you watch this one. Uh, a lot of truth and data in my videos, folks. Basically, just throwing you what's actual factual out there. I don't like to use science too much because basically in a court of law, science used to be crap. Sometimes now these days it can actually be but it, factual stuff. I mean, if it's actual there, it's actual factual concrete evidence a structure, uh, form, uh, it's there, it lives, it breathes, it's on black and white paper, it's the truth, right? Unless some human being sack of crap is lying. And there's lots of them out there. Especially when they try to steal stuff from the people, you know, family, so forth and so on. So there's the thieves rampant, even sometimes in your own family. That's why you got to keep everybody honest all the time. Just kind of whack it right up in their, between their eyeballs every day, you know. Family, family, family. That's most important, family. Go talk to somebody that runs a rock quarry or somebody that basically has seen footage of 9-11 or anything like that, folks. This is the sun, which is huge out in space. And basically, you can see the CME action as it comes through. You'll see CME action is basically the flares. Okay, the sunlight and the flares. Okay, and then we know CME action. But as you can see, anybody that works at a rock quarry or anybody seen a bucket of dirt dumped out of a, a payloader or anything like that, you can keep on seeing smash, smash, a crash, a batch of something going on with the sun or the suns that are in the supergiants close by the sun or something like that. Because you keep on seeing this hair fluff. You see that fluff right there? You're going to keep seeing this fluff right above the sun. As you see, this is the sun right there. Okay. If you watch these videos enough, you can see, but you see also see the smash or crash. You see that big old, I mean, it's just like ash. And what it is, yeah, it's CME action in space, ladies and gentlemen, but it's also not flare CME action. It's basically like dust or ammo, like somebody knocked a bunch of dust out of a big old drapes on a window that's been sitting around for news how many years, and someone shakes them open, and all the dust comes flying off them. And you can see, you ain't missing it. It almost looks like the top of a volcano, doesn't it? Look at that, and that's in space, and the sun is huge, folks. It takes at least 11 Jupiters to make the size of the sun, and look at that big old fluff every time that this video keeps running through the day of the 26th, then the 25th, Zulu time. A fluff, fluff on top there. So there's definitely something doing a little bit of bumblebee action on the sun, and it ain't bumblebees. This shit is huge, okay? We've seen it for years. And NASA's got to start talking about it. And scientists and the ast uh, astronaut sitting there with his teeth in his mouth, shaking his head. No, no, I'm not going to make no comment about what I see out of the window. I, we, we just look at Earth all the time because it's so magnificent, which Earth is magnificent. But there's tons of other stuff out in space that's magnificent. And yes, there's stuff far away from the deal, but the idea they don't want to mention what they see out their windows up there on the space 
space station, ladies and gentlemen out there in space.